Hi guys, it's Simon of Travel Agent Hanoi, your local Vietnam travel agency. So today, uh, first of all, just like to thank my new subscribers to the channel. Thank you for your support. Got quite a few from the last video. Thank you once again. Uh, secondly, uh, at the end of this video, I'd like to talk to you about a worthy uh, charity I'll be involved in um, in September. Now, please do stay tuned to the end of the video to see what's happening and see how you too can get involved. So today I'd like to do things a little bit differently. Uh, due to the added restrictions in Hanoi and other cities in, in Vietnam in this fourth wave, I thought I'd show you how Hanoi look, is looking at the moment. Um, many of you have asked for uh, street, Hanoi street walkabouts, uh, but of course as per the, uh, my latest last video, that has now become impossible um, so but I have a, f a good friend living in Hanoi his name is Paulus uh, he's from Holland great guy big bushy beard he is a great friend he's uh, actually living in a hotel in the old quarter at the moment and he has managed to very kindly send me some footage of the streets of Hanoi so I'd like to show you now um, what it's looking like in a few of the streets of the old quarter to give you an idea what you know what's happening at the moment um, and then I'll move on to uh, vaccine news later so here here it is and uh, just see what it's like Yo, Tom, say hi to your mother. Uh, hello, mother. Love you, mom. Okay, we're in uh, Lung Lung Quinn. The, the streets are basically empty. Everything is shut. Um, you still can see there are some people driving here, but like nothing, not too much. It's Saturday. Saturday and this place by now should be packed this is Tayen this would have like tables all up uh, to the middle of the street basically tables and chairs everybody is having beers drinks now you don't see anything any any everything is closed Circle K closed yeah this place would be packed as well a lot of restaurants a lot of people the streets would be, would have been closed down so you couldn't drive here with a with a motorbike uh, but no it's empty now we're going over here into uh, well the last part of Tayen towards the lake um, yeah Everything is closed. This big hotel, they got it. They closed half, half of the hotel, as you can see here. It's just like under under construction. But as you can see, a lot of shops have closed. Of course, all the bars. People are losing money here, big time. All right, end of uh, Taiyan Street. This is uh, Hang Bak, the Gold Street. Also everything is closed then we continue over here into uh, Ding, Ding Liet Ding Liet Hangbak no people 
over here there was uh, a barber, street barber. Also, not anymore. This place would be booming. Now this is new. Yeah. New but closed. The only uh, places which are allowed to be uh, be open are the pharmacies. Yeah. You used to go in. You used to go in there, but now they just made like everything closed. Social distancing. Now, this hotel, they made it like a month, a month ago. Then it was finished. It's just like a new, new hotel. Pretty nice. Yeah, with uh, one, two, three, four, five stories high. They built it from scratch. No customers. None whatsoever. This used to be a street side restaurant. Very good. Over there, that used to be my old bar. Now it's a coffee shop, also closed. People from the Chada shop with the children. There used to be restaurants over here, nothing. And you can see the sky, it's turning grey. It's going to rain for for some time after uh, some time after this. Good chicken, good food you can buy here. Very good. I'm glad to see they're still open. So yeah, as you can see, streets basically empty uh, yeah so I'm uh, heading back to my place now so for the time being I will let you uh, let you see these uh, images and yeah going to quit now no problem they all survived the Vietnamese strong strong and resilient people all right have a good day mate Okay, so I, I hope you enjoyed the, the footage there in Hanoi to show you a little bit of insight of what it looks like at the moment. This, that was filmed a few days ago. I think it was before the social distancing and the uh, uh, extra measures that have gone into effect since uh, Monday morning. So uh, now we'll have a look at what vaccine news is throughout Vietnam. These are taken from news sources, varied news sources, sources around Vietnam. And I'll begin with the first one which was around 21st of July um, the first test batch of Sputnik V vaccine has been produced and packaged in Vietnam uh, its selection of samples of uh, around 30,000 doses from this batch produced in Vietnam will be shipped to Russia for quality control checks uh, Vietnam are hoping for the technology transfer from Russia to help access the Sputnik vaccine more easily. And the next piece of news, which was around the 23rd of July, according to news sources, uh, Hanoi suspends the vaccination program. Now, the vaccination program uh, was, at, was beginning at Hanoi's e-hospital, and on Thursday, it was suspended due to overcrowding. Uh, the sheer volume of people meant queues were lining up from the hospital all the way to the, the hospital gates. Uh, too many people signing up for the very similar time slots, which meant complete chaos and 
the authorities decided to, uh, they had no choice but to suspend vaccinations. I'm un unsure when they've uh, started them again, but it's been the weekend in between, so let's hope it's, it's, it's already started again, or it starts today or tomorrow, so we'll find out and let you know. Uh, also on the 23rd of July last week, um, a batch of over 1.2 million doses of AstraZeneca um, doses came into, arrived in Ho Chi Minh City Airport on Friday. This batch is part of a deal for 30 million doses, which were ordered direct from AstraZeneca themselves. Around 3.13 million AstraZeneca doses have arrived so far uh, since February with this, on this contract. And around 8.6 million have arrived in Vietnam through other means, such as COVAX facility and through donations, such as Japan. On the 25th of July, 3 million more Moderna doses arrived in Vietnam at the weekend, and this batch is the second delivery from the donations uh, from the UN United States, and this was sent via the COVAX facility. So just under 1.5 million arrived in Ho Chi Minh City and the remainder headed to Hanoi. Same day at the weekend, 25th, uh, the Health Minister Nguyen Tang Long has said Vietnam has reached an agreement on technology transfer for a vaccine from the US. Uh, so it, it suggested it will start production next year. Now, according to the, the health minister, a factory with the capacity to produce 200 million doses is under com, uh, construction and will start operations in the first half of 2022. Um, along with Russia, which I mentioned earlier, Vietnam has also said they have reached an agreement with Japan on technology transfers too. Okay, so that's... Just a little snippet of the vaccine news, and now on to the more interesting news, I think, um, about my charity involvement. Um, now, those of you who've been to Hanoi may have heard of this charity organisation before, and it's one that I've, uh, I've been meaning to get interview with and walk around the facility for a long time, but the second wave happened, the third wave happened, and the fourth wave happened, and it's just never happened. But I can still get involved with this charity uh, from a distance and what it's, what's happening is there's uh, I'm going to be walking a marathon of 42 kilometers uh, on Sunday the 19th of September 2021 uh, to help the disadvantaged of youths disadvantaged youths of Vietnam now I'm looking to achieve this by walking through all the, the local villages nearby, down by the riverside. It's, it's going to be a, a lovely walk. It, it is a fantastic, lovely walk. If you if you subscribe to the Vietnam Village Life channel, then you will see uh, what you'll expect to see on that uh, charity walk because I do bike rides and uh, you know I sometimes go on the kayak as well. So uh, it's it's going to be a beautiful uh, journey, uh, a long one and. Hopefully it's not as hot as it is now because it's absolutely boiling. Um, September's hopefully cooler. It's probably more rain, so I'll probably be walking around with a raincoat on. Um, so I will hopefully be filming some parts of the pro my progress throughout the day. Uh, with it being the Travel Agent Hanoi channel, I'm able to do uh, live streaming from my phone. So I may be able to do uh, snippets of the, of the walk through live stream. So hopefully you'll be able to join us on there and, and egg me on uh, with my progress. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll be able to join me and support uh, my challenge um, by donating to a worthwhile charity at Blue Dragon Children's Foundation. Now this will help them rescue women and girls uh, trafficked to China and also provide street kids access to medical care, food and education. Now you can have a look at our website at travelagenthanoi.com and on that About Us page there is a link to the page that talks about Blue Dragon. But also I'll show you the link for the donation in the description. This will take you direct to the page where you can make your donations. Now uh, all proceeds will be given directly to Blue Dragon's Children Foundation uh, as 100% of the admin costs are, taken, are, are covered by the Intrepid uh, platform. Uh, so every penny or cent will go directly to those in need. 
so yeah please guys uh, if you if you're really interested in helping those uh, disadvantaged youths in vietnam please do click on the link in the description and uh, give me something to aim for uh, it's a challenge 42 kilometers i've never walked 42 kilometers before in my life uh, i certainly wasn't going to run it i'm not i'm not built to run marathons uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, if, if you can help that would be great so have a look at the link in the description and it will take you to the page where you can make uh, as many donations you can make as little or as much as you can uh, every little helps as tesco usually say uh, so please please do help and if you want to take part, if you are in Vietnam and you, or even around the world, if you want to do uh, the marathon as well, then just click on that link again and you'll be able to see where you can actually register and do that marathon yourself. Uh, that would be quite interesting to see maybe little videos of, of where you are in the world and maybe you could post that to, to Facebook or YouTube, wherever, you know, and we'll all share together. So, um, yeah, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to... to Help me reach my target of 500 uh, US dollars. I'm hoping to achieve much more than that, to be honest. But uh, we'll, we'll start little and, and grow. Uh, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, I'm off to go and do some more training. Cheers.